हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज टाइमर एक काउंटर टाइमर एक काउंटर बैकबोन ऑफ द पीएलसी प्रोग्रामिंग यू मस्ट हैव टू लर्न द टाइमर एक काउंटर फॉर डूइंग परफेक्ट प्रोग्रामिंग फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द टाइमर देयर आर थ्री टाइप ऑफ द टाइमर इन फैटी पीएलसी फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द टाइमर ऑफ द बेस 0.01 सेकंड सेकंड वन इज द टाइमर ऑफ बेस 0.1 सेकंड एंड लास्ट वन इज द टाइमर ऑफ 1 सेकंड Three timers are available in the Fatty PLC software. You can use any software according your program project and your logics. In this lecture, I will do the practical in the software counter type. There are two type of the counter: 16-bit counter and 32-bit counter. 16-bit counter have the range from 0 to 32,767. This is a maximum value of the counter. If you want to count the more value from 32,767, then you have to use 32-bit counter because it has a very large value. Okay. 16-bit counter more divided into two type. One is the retentive counter, and second one is the non-retentive counter. Retentive counter will not lose the value when power of 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 PLC will be off. and no retentive counter will lose the value when power of of plc 32 bit counter is range from 0 to is very large value you can count very very much big value 32 bit counter more divided into two type one is the retentive and second one is no retentive retentive counter will not lose the value from plc if plc lose the power but in case of the no retentive counter it will be lose the value when power of the plc will is off now let's start the program in practical start the your file go to file create the new project project name is timer counter a plc series is fs fbs is 20 and model mc okay now now go to project and open the memory allocation you can see there are three type of three type of timer is in front of you first one is the 0.01 second The timer range from time is t zero to t forty nine. Point one second timer range from t fifty to t one ninety nine. And one second timer range is from t two hundred to t two fifty five. There are three timer and its ranges. Now counter. You can see there. Are Two types of counter: 16-bit counter and 32-bit counter. A more is retentive and non-retentive. This is the ranges of the counter C0 to C139. This is a 16-bit counter and retentive. And from C140 to C199, the counter is 60-bit but is non-retentive. From C200 to C 239 this is the 30 bit counter retentive and last one is the no retentive from c 242 c 255 okay this is the ranges and the total counter let's start the programming of the timer x0 and timer T zero, this is the point zero one second. So if I I want to take the delay of ten second, then I have to multiply one thousand. It automatically give the ten second del delay. T one forty. Is a point one second. If I multiply it by one hundred, it will give the 
टेन सेकेंड डिले टी टू फिफ्टी दिस वन सेकेंड डिले यू कैन सी वन सेकेंड बेस टाइम इफ आई पुट द वैल्यू टेन then it will give that 10 second delay so three three there are three timer of the different base time but every timer will give 10 second delay put here short of horizontal and vertical for complete the circuit T zero, T one forty, and last one time at two fifty, and one coil Y zero. Okay, and I also use status page right here timer one. So time is zero. Time is one forty. It will show the value of the timer in this page. Timer two fifty. Okay. Now go to the PLC, go to the simulation, and run the PLC. Okay, you can see this time the value of the three timer is zero. When I on the input, this say uh, three timer start to count the delay. After ten second, three timer will be on. You can see. so this way we can use any timer according to our logic and project okay when i off the input again all the timer go to zero okay this is the timer of the 1 second base time this is the point 1 and this is the point 01 okay in this way you can use any timer and go to the stop plc as stop the end simulation now we will use the counter put x0 now i will take three counter 16 bit counter 32 bit counter and one is a no retentive counter so first one is c0 This is a 60-bit counter and a tentative counter. Its value will be not lose if PLC power lose. And if I put the value 32,767, it is acceptable value for 16-bit counter. But I increase the value, it will be go to red color. Mean to say, this is a not acceptable value because because this is a 16-bit counter and its value maximum. Thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-seven, not eight. Okay. Now, other counter C one hundred. Sorry, I will check in C or C memorization. Okay. No retentive is. 140. I will take 140 and 32 bit counter. I will take the value 200. Okay, 140 and 200 counter. So I take this one. 140. This is a no retentive 60 bit counter. And any take value. Okay. No, I will take. 32 bit counter sorry 250 
and you can see if I put the value 32,758 it's acceptable in this case in 60 bit it is not acceptable but in case of 32 bit it's acceptable I give any value very big value like this you can see is acceptable because the range is very high now use shorts for completing the circuit this one and add this ok and this is a clear the it will clear the your counter value so I also take one input for giving the demo of the how to clear the counter value x2 and use horizontal short ok and use Counter 0, C0, C140, and C250. Okay. It's very uh, already one. So I will go to its value already one. Then I have to use delete this one and go to X one for clear the counter. and use any other input x0 sorry x0 x1 and put here x like 0 and x 0 and x 3 ok and use the horizontal short value x0 here I will use one more input like x7 I use horizontal ok first we will count the counter and clear CLR clear the counter value so go to the simulation and on the PLC ok I go to there no I of the inputs and I will clear this time counter 0 has the two value and I press the x1 it value is 0 it the clear the counter value x7 value 0 x2 it's clear the counter value 
now when i on the plc input uh, you can see three counters start to count the value again give the any other pulse it going to counting the value now when i off the plc from run mode and again run the plc you can see first i have off the input now you can see current okay only counter 0 has the four value and other counter value go to 0 because this is our retentive counter c0 as c140 as c250 is a no retentive counter counter run i of the plc from run mode to stop mode a stop mode to run mode the only c zero value is stored for and other counter is go to zero if you have any question regarding this lecture you can raise a question in the comment box okay